Well, the 115th edition of the Utah Women's State Amateur wrapped up today in Farmington. Our own Wesley Ruff was there and has the recap. The 18-hole championship match at Oak Ridge featured long-hitting Leela Nolye going up against 17-year-old Berlin Long. Long was one up on the back nine when she came up with this clutch bunker shot on 15. She won that hole and had a two-hole lead with two holes to play. I was just trying to make pars, you know, just hit fairways and greens and give myself a good look for birdie. And Nolye had a slippery birdie putt on 17, but she rolled it in to keep the match going. It was super slopey, and I'm sure if I missed the hole, it would have went all the way off of the green, but glad it didn't. So, On 18, Nolye pushed her drive to the right, but came up with a clutch shot through the trees. The ball rolled past the hole, but she got that up and down for a par. Long needed to chip this one in to win the match. She gave it a good shot, but it just stayed out, and the match went into sudden death. I hit it right where I wanted to and thought I had a really good chance, so it's kind of a bummer. But. On the first hole of the sudden death playoff, the par 5 first hole, Nolye was on the green in two and gave her eagle putt a good run, leaving her a tap-in birdie. Long had to make this putt for a birdie to keep the match going, but it slid past the hole. She conceded the hole and the match, and Leela Nolye won the 115th Utah Women's State Amateur title. I think the only thing that got me through this whole week was uh, my self-talk, if you saw on the course, I kind of was talking to myself like, okay, Leela, just say it right here. If it doesn't go there, it's okay. Just try and get it back. So uh, did a lot of talking to myself and uh, probably looked weird, but it worked. So Indeed it did. <laughs> Wesley Ruff, ABC4 Sports. Yeah, they were competitors today. Next year, they're going to be teammates at BYU.